Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, we'll demonstrate how to test crankshaft position sensor on BMW guys X1. It doesn't matter if you have a four cylinder, six cylinder gasoline or diesel engine, guys. Uh, the procedure to test your crankshaft position sensor will be about the same for all of them, guys. Uh, crankshaft position sensors are relatively easy to test, guys, and you can find out with 95% uh, assurance that they're good or bad. Stay with us and we'll explain that today, guys. Now, before we start every single car we get at the shop we make at least two to three hundred free repair videos specifically on bmws we make even more why we do all that simply because our mission at the shop is to save you guys as much money as we can all we need in return please subscribe to the channel and like the video guys so we can keep providing that free information now uh, if you need to buy a new sensor any of the parts and tools that we use we'll share the links in the description of the video below for your convenience let me show you guys okay what we have here now uh, in order to get to the crankshaft position sensor on this BMW guys here, we have a BMW uh, N52 engine, this is a 6 cylinder engine, we had to actually remove the intake manifold. And once we remove the intake manifold guys, we're going to come to the uh, crankshaft position sensor which is usually located under the engine starter and this is the sensor itself, that's what it looks like, okay. You can see that's the sensor itself guys. Now. Uh, we'll demonstrate guys, okay, depending on the year, model, generation and engine, you may have different covers for the wires here. And we'll explain guys how to know exactly which wire you need to check and how you can test your sensor. So let's go ahead and remove the sensor now from the wiring harness so I can explain all that guys. Okay, we need to pry it here a little bit up pull up just like that perfect now let me show you what we have here guys you're going to have in most cases only three wires three wires guys one of them usually it's black with white or black with something else it's a thinner wire this is a ground wire another wire will be a 12 volt ignition wire so uh, the the voltage in that wire will be equivalent to the voltage you have in the battery and the other wire will be a signal wire this wire you should have around five volts in it guys and we will explain okay how to find out which wire is now so what we're going to do we'll turn the ignition switch on ignition switch on without starting the engine especially because everything's disconnected and removed don't start your engine just turn the ignition on until you see your dash lights on we'll go ahead do that and we'll continue so we have the voltmeter for dc 12 volts guys right here i'm going to leave it okay right here on the engine box now the middle wire usually the thinner black wire is a ground wire we'll put the black lead on the on the uh, black wire red lead on one of the other wires first wherever we get 12 volts okay this is 12.2 12.3 volts perfect this is guys ignition wire orange is ignition wire let's check the other wire what do we get five volts guys four point okay check it out 4.97 perfect this is guys the wire that we need the yellow wire now we don't need to cut that wire open like we did but uh, if you guys uh, want to see there is a special device that you can clamp to it that way you don't have to guys uh, cut it like we did again but uh, uh, we we peeled it a little bit so we can test it now we're going to insert the sensor okay now the ignition switch should be turned off at that point insert the sensor and then reconnect it okay or when we are peeling wires or anything like that ignition switch needs to be turned off now we're going to touch the red lead okay red lead right here to the wire perfect to the signal wire Bla black black lead will be attached anywhere on ground so the alternator usually give it a scratch and once you get five volts about five volts on the voltmeter you're set, ready to go now if you get a metal tube guys and you get it close to that sensor it's kind of like a magnet it should drop really close to zero check it out now zero i remove it five volts let's do again zero i remove it five volts so it should approach zero when you put a metal tube and once you remove it it should approach five guys so this is one good sensor right there if it's not uh, changing it's a bad sensor guys or if it's stuck in one position if it, it's bad again so hopefully the video will be helpful thank you for watching and see you guys next time